I frequently hear people use the terms mental health and mental illness as if they are the same thing, but they're not. In this video, I will talk about the difference between those two concepts and highlight why is it important for us to understand our mental health. When I talk to my psychology colleagues or clients or students, I realize that they use the terms mental health and mental illness for the same discussions as if they refer to the same experience. But there's a huge difference between those two. And it's important for us to understand that difference. Let's start with mental illness. A mental illness is an illness that affects the way you think, feel, behave or interact with other people. There are many different mental illnesses and they have different symptoms that impact people's lives in different ways. Examples for mental illness could be depression, uh, anxiety disorders, addictive behaviors, schizophrenia, eating disorders. Naturally, mental illnesses are very challenging for us. They trigger lots of pain and discomfort in our lives. Now that we understand what are mental illnesses, let's talk about mental health. Psychologists know much less about mental health than they know about mental illness. When are we mentally healthy? This is a really important question. Is it enough for you to eliminate mental illness in order to be mentally healthy? The answer is no, it is not enough. Mental health is not simply the absence of mental illness. Eliminating mental illness does not ensure a healthy, thriving and competent individual. I will say it again because this is the main message I want you to take from this video. Eliminating a mental illness does not ensure a healthy, thriving and competent individual. If you want to psychologically flourish, to be mentally healthy, then yes, you need to deal with any mental illness, but you also need to increase your experience of hope and optimism and having purpose and resilience and happiness and mindfulness. Those and many, many other positive psychology variables turn you into a mentally healthy individual. The World Mental Health Day takes place every year in October. Whenever I go to speak in conferences on that day, the topics include dealing with depression or learning to live with chronic pain or anxiety. How can we reduce it? And that's not a mental health day. It's a mental illness day. Nothing's wrong with those topics. Obviously, it is very important for us to understand how to deal with depression, anxiety and chronic pain. But those discussions should take place under the umbrella of mental illness, not mental health. For us to engage with mental health, we need to investigate psychological topics such as happiness, personal meaning in life, hope, resilience, passion, optimism, mindfulness, flow, our character strengths. In other words, we need to study positive psychology. This is an important issue because only through the distinction between mental illness and mental health could we shift some of the discussion into psychological thriving and flourishing. And that's a really important discussion because it teaches us how to live life fully. I hope you enjoyed this discussion over mental illness versus mental health. Subscribe to my channel so that you could remain up to date with all of my videos to do with personal growth, transformation and other positive psychology and mental health topics. Thank you for joining. Thank mm -hmm. you.